My wife says I've got to add human interest to this video. So the clock is over there, but this is what we look at. That is Table Bay. That's the stupid soccer stadium for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The, the balcony. Fireplace, lovely in winter. Kitchen over there. There's the clock. There's the front door. There's the TV on a dark green wall so you can't see it. Uh, Mika is my granddaughter's name. Uh, there's no bounce and no recoil of the second hand. gasket on the door to seal the dust out. Hagen's uh, endless belt drive. Uh, the weights are much longer than they need to be and will be cut shorter. It's marked there, you can see. Carbon fiber uh, pendulum rod. Uh, acetyl temperature compensation below the bob in full exposure to the air, so there's a rapid response. 29 millimeters of acetyl equals Delrin. Fine regulation by movable weight high up on the pendulum. It's very precise. The escape is at the back. There's a mirror behind the clock so you can see the action of the escape from the outside. Case removed so we can get some details of the workings of the clock at the back. The drive is by a, a nylon belt. Pendulum clock is mounted directly onto the wall there's a needle through it to catch it should the spring break. There's no motion work. The drive is directly on the hour arbor. The 12 to 1 gear, uh, gear train to the minute arbor and a 60 to 1 train to the escape and seconds are arbor, which is on the other side. I'll show you now. Clock reversed. Pendulum on a temporary bracket attached to the clock frame. So now we can see the escape in action. The whole escape in action. Poise weights. Sixty to one lay shaft bot uh, in the middle lower. The uh, drive belt on the left. Twelve to one lay shaft, involute teeth. 
drive belt at the top. Pendulum cock is mounted directly on the wall.